over the course of this year, from starting my Instagram account normalize.acne to now, I have gone through such a journey of growth, honestly. I never thought that I would ever upload a picture of myself or even filming a video of myself not wearing any makeup and actually letting my acne show through. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel, it's Evelyn. Today's topic is going to focus on acne and skin positivity and first of all, you know, it's because it's a topic that I deal with on the daily and it's something that I talk about all the time. I want to be open and share my experiences with you guys, but I mostly want to talk about this because I feel like growing up I always saw acne as something ugly and something even like dirty and that people with without clear skin did were not beautiful. I think part of the problem of why I felt that way was because I didn't really see a lot of people around me who had my problem or who also had acne. Most of my friends had very clear skin or they had dry skin types. So I think I compared myself to them, of course, because who else are you gonna compare yourself with than the people in your inner circle, right? The second thing was that looking at media and looking at movies, I never really saw anyone who had acne. Whenever they showed those like Clinique or uh, Proactive commercials in the, on the TV, they always showed people who already had clear skin or it was like acne that was sort of drawn on or edited afterwards. And then, you know, magically after they washed their face, the pimples are gone. I started using Proactive after all of the acne treatments I've tried. It smooths my skin and it just changed my face. So I didn't realize I was going to get so triggered by watching these commercials, but it just brings me back to the time where I was starting to get acne. Proactive is an easy three-step system that works for all ages, all skin types. And I was watching these commercials on the TV and it's just like so weird, like they're so deceiving and they really trigger me. Like I get super triggered watching because it's almost like I start to get really self-conscious about my acne again. And that is just another repercussion of, you know, advertisement. It really sort of changes the way that you think about things that you never thought about before. And that is just the psychology, you know, that they're using to get people to buy a lot of stuff that they don't need. The models that are showing or that are showcasing these products, they don't even have acne. It's like they have clear skin and then... They were like, oh my god, I want to get rid of my blackheads and all of my zits. And then they don't have any. And they wash their face and their skin looks exactly the same to me. Like, I just find it so funny. And I used to believe in those media commercials so much. And I thought that I just needed to find the right product for me. Of course, that is what the media wants. And that is what advertisement uh, wants you to feel. Obviously, that is not the case. A lot of the times, acne is a symptom of something a deeper problem, something that you can't really control. And it took me so long to get to that point where I realized that that is the reality, you know? And also, I just wanted to make a disclaimer because I know that my skin looks pretty clear right now. And this is, it's only because it only recently started clearing like this. Usually I have a lot of cystic acne. That is like what my skin defaults to. It's easier for me to accept it now because it's sort of like a part of who I am. It's not who I am, but it's a part of who I am. Over the course of this year, from starting my Instagram account normalize.acne to now, I have gone through such a journey of growth, honestly, and I didn't, like, I never thought that I would ever upload a picture of myself or even filming a video of myself not wearing any makeup and actually letting my acne show through. When I started my account in June last year, I didn't know how I was gonna, you know, how it was gonna go or what the outcome was gonna be, but I'm so happy that I did because from the moment that I started it to now, I have gained a lot of friendships, first of all, but I've gained a lot of connections with people, like real connections through the skin positivity community. So the first aspect that I wanna talk about that really helped me stop hating on my acne is to stop caring about what people think about your skin. This is maybe the hardest one of all, because obviously we care about what we look to other people, right? And it's so hard when we live in this world and the society that deems acne as something so horrible. Even like big influencers do this. I used to watch a lot of videos before on how people cleared their skin overnight or like how they went from acne to clear skin in six months with Accutane and stuff like that. But even though 
like I always strive to get clear skin obviously because you know acne is not something that you want to have like these before and afters they were sort of toxic in my opinion because I always looked for the after picture some of these influencers not all of them but some of them really talk in a derogatory way about their skin when they had acne so they sometimes they would say things like look at how horrible my skin looked or look at how ugly it was or look how awful my skin was instead of just saying you know i had acne it, it was normal and now it's clear and it sort of bothers me now that i think about it because it makes you feel like if i can't clear my skin then will my skin always be awful you know do, do i look horrible just because i have acne sometimes you can't really do much about it unless yes you go on accutane when i stopped caring about what other people think that stress just melted away from my shoulders like that weight I was carrying from thinking about my skin all the time and thinking like how I looked in the mirror and how I looked to other people when I stopped caring about that all that stress just melted away and I think stress is such a big factor to why you even have acne in the first place so whenever I was stressed I would break out and when I broke out I would get even more stressed because I was breaking out so it was just like a really vicious cycle so I think like if I don't stress in the first place I won't even get acne to worry about and to be stressed about and that is why right now I'm not breaking out as much as I am used to breaking out. So the second point, which is sort of related, I guess, to the first point, I already touched on it a little bit, but it is that I stopped identifying as this person who has acne. I separated those two into you know, this is me, this is the person that I am, like on the inside, and this is acne, this is temporary, this is something that will fade, that will pass. I, I realize, you know, that acne is just a part of me and a part of life, of course, but it's not the entirety of who I am. And I think when you separate those two, like stop, when you stop identifying to this person who has acne, it really just releases this stress that you have and this stress that you feel other people are putting on you. When you walk about and people comment on your skin, which a lot of people do unfortunately, which comes from a place of ignorance, but when they do, when they give you unsolicited advice, it just makes it seem like all they see when they look at you are your pimples. And then you start identifying with your acne and you start to think that is this is this who i am now like is this how people see me and i think like that is why we identify with this so deeply honestly before i ever got a comment about my acne i didn't really think about it that much and as soon as someone commented on my skin i started to stress about it and then probably that propelled my acne even more to get worse I remember this happened in high school where i started breaking out i think like on my chin or like around my nose or something and then there was this little kid who just walked past me and he was like, haha, pizza face. And then I was like, <sighs> like, is it that visible? Do people think about it that much? And it just like rewired my entire brain. And after that moment, I started to think like I need to cover it up because I don't want that type of comment again. You want to avoid feeling any type of sadness or like shame or humiliation because that's i think that's how we feel like people who have acne we feel like we have to be ashamed of our skin somehow like there's something that we're not achieving that's something that we're doing wrong about ourselves and i started to think like okay i have acne but i also have really nice hair or i have really nice eyes or i started to look at other aspects of me like okay, um, I have this really nice blush and even though I have acne, it's still gonna look good on me. I have really nice lips or I have like a really cute outfit to wear today. Uh, and the third part, this is not gonna be like skin a skincare video because that's not what I want this video to be about at all. But it's just one aspect that I changed that I think has really, really helped my skin stay clear like it is right now. And it is that I stopped stripping my skin of its moisture. I think a big misconception a lot of people have about acne and pimples and oily skin is that we need to dry out our skin to the max. When I think about like those ads and those commercials that I've seen, that's sort of what they promote or that's sort of... Uh, what the ad is usually about. I was watching this video about the two dermatologists who are like debunking myths about acne and they were saying that basically when you have acne your skin is sort of inflamed. If you're stripping then your skin of its moisture it makes it worse and it could inflame it even more because it lacks that protection that it needs. I think when people think that when they have oily skin well they already have that protection over it but really oily skin even more so needs to be moisturized because sometimes you are actually dehydrated and if you're dehydrated like if your skin is dehydrated 
and you're not hydrating it, it's just gonna pump up more sebum and it's gonna clog your pores even more. And that is why, first of all, that we break out when we're teenagers because our bodies are just naturally producing more sebum. I actually started to use a gentle cleanser and that didn't have any actives or anything that I'm still using. And then I started to use a very simple moisturizer that wasn't too light and not too thick. Don't for the love of me squeeze your pimples. Like that is going to aggravate your skin so much and irritate the area around it and possibly create more pimples around and you know, irritate that, that part of the face even more. Point number four is the aspect of social media. And I don't wanna say it's the most important aspect, but for me, it honestly has been because social media can be, you know, both good and bad. There's a lot of pros and cons with social media these days, but I think the biggest pro about social media is that you can reach out to so many people who are experiencing the same thing as you are, and you can realize and, you know, reprogram your brain into into um, understanding that you're not alone in whatever you're going through. When I first started my Instagram account, normalize.acne, I slowly but surely started to, you know, follow more accounts and people started to follow me. And I started to see that there were so many people, like wonderful girls and boys, who were uploading pictures of themselves with acne. And I never looked at them and I thought, ew, like, what are you doing? Like, I always just thought it was so fascinating because I never saw that before. And so I just encourage you to look at your social media as a way for you to feel good, not for you to compare yourself or not for you to to want to buy things that you don't need. The conventionally beautiful influencers that look a certain way that is sort of unattainable because they might use Facetune or they might have clothes that you can't afford. Those kind of girls, like a lot of people feel really bad when they look at them because they feel like that is something that can, they can never achieve or something that is so out of reach that they just feel bad about themselves. They look in the mirror and they think, you know, oh, I don't look like this influencer and, and she looks so effortless and flawless all the time, even without makeup and even without her fancy clothes. Just <laughs> remember that everyone's social media feed is usually very curated and usually it is just of their highlights. It's a highlight reel. That's how you have to think about it. So yeah, maybe what you can do if you're struggling with acne right now is just to create an account and document your journey. If you're on Accutane, that is a really good way to start because you can document like either like daily or every single week because trust me, there are gonna be a lot of people who know what you're going through and who are going to support you, so. Point number five is the aspect of makeup. Makeup is also one of those things that can be super empowering or that can make us feel really, really bad about ourselves. Like that love for makeup that I know a lot of makeup artists have and that like love for expressing yourself through your makeup and just doing really creative looks and stuff, that sort of goes away a little bit or like the line between like wanting to cover something up and wanting to be creative is sort of blurred for people with acne because on one hand, we want to do something creative, like maybe have like a really cool eyeshadow, but then also we're worrying about how much our acne is showing through on our skin. Because basically, right, if you're doing your makeup, the base is like the first thing you do because you need to have like a clear canvas. Um, but imagine that our canvas, like people with acne, our canvas is sort of smudged already. Like there's already some red dots and everything. It's not like a smooth canvas. Basically, like I don't think anyone has a smooth canvas. That's what society is is telling us to feel, you know, that we need to have this clear canvas to then create this makeup look. When I first had acne, I covered up my, my acne a lot because obviously I didn't want people to see me that way. Like, I didn't feel like myself with my acne. When I saw myself in my brain, I saw this person who I was before I had acne. Yes, she had some blackheads and pores on her face, but she never had acne. And then, and then when I looked in the mirror in the morning, I just got disappointed because I, you know, I thought that the way I really looked is the way I look with makeup and therefore I need to have makeup because otherwise I don't feel like myself. But basically what I'm saying is that use less makeup because when you're using less makeup you get used to how you look with your acne and when you look in the mirror you're gonna see you know the person that you really are and not just the person who has covered up their skin the less and less that i wore like face makeup i just wear skin tint now but i wouldn't really say it's a foundation i still see my skin you know i still see like my under eye sir and my under eye bags i still see that i have some hyperpigmentation some erythema um i still I still see the little imperfections and I honestly 
don't really mind it anymore. It's definitely not, not something that you accomplish overnight. It's definitely something that you do step by step, but eventually when you when you are at that point where you're not wearing so much face makeup anymore, trust me, you're gonna feel so much better. My last point is that I started to be kinder to myself. One thing, one way to do this is to use positive affirmations. Um, so positive affirmations are um, sort of like statements that you say um, to yourself, about yourself, it could be like, I have acne, but my acne does not define who I am, or my acne does not define me, it's not who I am, it's just a part of who I am. You also have to really adjust the way that you talk to yourself. If you say, if you look in the mirror and you think, oh, I have a pimple there again, and oh, my skin is never gonna clear up, oh my god, like, I hate the way I look. If you think like that, then you're just going to attract, like, negative energy into your life, because I'm someone who really believes in the law of attraction. I had a counselor who said, it doesn't matter who says something to you, if you yourself say it or someone else, your brain doesn't know who's saying it. So basically, if you're telling yourself, oh, I look so ugly with without my makeup, I look so ugly with acne, it is the exact same thing as if someone else were to tell you that. So would you really want someone else to tell you that? No, of course not. You would want someone to tell you you're beautiful, regardless of if you have acne or not. Before, when I, when I used to break out, and especially if it was like before a big event or something, I would beat myself up about it so much. I, I remember I got acne before or some acne was like very little before my prom. And I was like, of course, this is gonna happen now that I have this big event and everyone's gonna see it. Uh, and I was like freaking out and like crying because I just didn't want to look that way or I didn't want pictures of myself having acne. But honestly, now that I look back, like I sort of wish that I didn't feel that way because it ruined the anticipation and ruined the the motivation for me to go and it ruined like the the excitement for me really because I like I took that down I dialed my happiness down by myself like no one else told me that like, oh my god you have acne no one even saw it like no one mentioned it I'm just more acceptive of whatever happens now because I know that it's something that I can't control and if you can't control it just let it go like and I also just want to say that people who give you unsolicited advice people who say stuff like what happened to your skin? Or you should wash your face more often. Or have you tried drinking water? Like that type of comment is, it comes from a place of ignorance of people not understanding what you're going through and just taking whatever they know from their knowledge and just applying that. And I think because we live in a society that deems acne as something ugly or unhygienic, that people feel they have to say that because they assume that we either that we haven't tried it and that's why we have acne getting rid of my breakouts it's not a ton of work it's as simple as washing my face it's not that simple what it's or that we want advice that we want someone to help them there's absolutely nothing wrong with the way you look and you have to remind yourself of that when other people aren't you just gotta learn to brush it off your shoulders like you know brush it off. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you really appreciated it. If you do have acne and if you do feel really down or something, comment down below and let's just lift each other up. Let's be positive and let's let's just, you know, create more skin positivity. And if you want to follow me on my Instagram, I have them linked down below in the description so that you can check it out. Hit me up on DMs on Instagram because I really love answering DMs and talking to you guys. Thank you guys for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!